I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In the prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today I was checking the comments and I found a Muslim. You know, Muslims are very nice people and they are very loving. Uh, I mean, there's no exception. All of them, they share one thing, that they love you. So this Muslim here, his name is Musa. Musa Awad. He said, you are cursed by Allah. Thank you, Musa. I'm so glad that I'm cursed by Allah. That means I am in the right place. Because the one who is going to be blessed by Allah, that means he is blessed by the devil. And we will prove it for you. He said, Satan is still alive, and he cursed too like you. I find it very funny that Allah is cursing himself because Allah in the Quran, he identify himself as Satan. You know, if we go right now to the Quran, and we ask ourselves, what Satan? Who is Satan? According to the Quran, Satan is the one who provides uh, wine. Well, he make wine. Allah make wine, and he have rivers of it. Who is Satan? Satan is the one who spread hatred between you. Chapter 5, verse number 91. Satan is the one who spread hatred. It's in front of you, this is not me. Now I'm going to read exactly. Enmity and hatred. What Satan he do? He spread hatred and enmity. And what? Wine. Like the translation here that you'll be drunk, that's false. In Arabic it says Al-Khamr. See it? And gambling. Allah, he promote gambling. How? Muhammad, he says, my nation will be 73 sect. Only one of them is the right one. Gambling. So you join Islam, you are playing uh, cards, and those cards, only one card will win. Not like when, when people play cards, as I remember, uh, you know, it's divided for four, uh, and I think the total number is 52, so you divide it to four, and then that is your share. So your share is 25% of winning. In Islam, your share is 1 to 73. Gambling. Wine and spreading hatred. Okay, so this is the this is the shaitan now. Well, Allah He do the same. The same chapter, it says in chapter five, verse number fourteen, Allah will spread hatred and enmity between who between the Christians until the day of judgment. 
the same chapter, the same Satan, the same person, Allah. Satan and Allah, they are totally in total agreement. Both, they spread hatred. And, you know, as you see, we can change the translator if you don't. Or you don't like this one. <clears throat> uh, all of them, they are liars. You know, they are trying to, to duct tape and cover the ass of Allah. May Allah ask you. But for me, it doesn't work because Arabic is my first language. If we change the Yusuf Ali as an example, it says, from those who call themselves Christians, uh, we did the, uh, take a covenant, but the Christian they never have a covenant. What covenant? This is the if you ask a Muslim now, what covenant? <laughs> this is how confused this stupid Muhammad. Covenant, okay? But they forgot a good part of it. All right. Uh, the message we send them, so we string them with enmity and hatred. Okay, hold on. All mankind in any religion. They forgot and they practice wrongly. Except in Islam. If you practice wrongly, Allah will spread hatred between us. Which is exactly what Satan does. Let us go back to the same chapter. Hmm? Same chapter. Chapter 5, verse number 14. And this is chapter 5, verse number 91. Allah, he spread hatred and enmity. And you have rivers of wines, those in different verses about the heaven of Allah and vagina and endless penis and women boobs, so they are look like a cube. So we see that Allah and Shaitan, they share the same ethic. If somebody, he is wrong, isn't it this is why God supposedly he sent messengers to warn them? So what is the benefit of this satanic God to spread the hatred and enmity? Is that going to bring them to God? You see, in Christianity, Jesus said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. That makes sense. You bring the doctor for the someone who is sick. Muhammad and his God, they have a plan for you. According to Muhammad, you are sick. And Allah will make you more sick. And he will spread hatred in your heart. How that will help the society and how that will help Islam or the target of that good good God. Obviously, this God is a satanic, faithy God. You know, the one who spread hatred, obviously, shaitan, even the same chapter, as you see. Then he continued, this guy, after cursing me, thank you very much, I'm so proud that I'm being cursed by Muslims. That's mean I am in the right path. The Prophet Muhammad successfully completed God's final mission for all kind, Prophet Muhammad, will be the leader in the, of mankind in the judgment day. And that would be very funny. So why Jesus is coming back? And why he's dead? And why he asked you to pray for him, potato? As long as he is successfully, and he will be leader. And then he says to you, pray for me to so Allah, give me the first place. Pray for me. Hmm? But let us focus in this stupid statement here. Muhammad will be the leader for mankind in the day of judgment. Let us go to the stupid hadith and die laughing. This is your yellow pages book another yellow pages. And here it says that all of you Muslims are at risk. And none of your religion, ritual, practice, prayer, hajj, all the garbage you do, kissing black stone, licking it, sucking it, will help you. Abu Huraira, the father of the cats, he said, this is what Huraira mean. And they call him this way because he used to molest cats. Abu Harir reported that Allah Messenger saying, none of you will be rescued by his work. Take a note. None of you will be rescued by his work. And this will destroy everything Muhammad said, because Muhammad, he says, if you pray, 
If you say the name of Allah, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, 100 times, Allah forgive your sin as if they are, even if they are the same as the foam of the ocean. Hold on. Who is the donkey here? We will go back to this one. That's mean everything Muhammad said is a fraud. Because either Muhammad, he agree with Muhammad, or Muhammad is two people. And he is stupid to the point he say things against himself. Whoever recite this is 100 time in the morning and the evening will not suppress in the day of resurrection. See how easy it is? You go, you cheat, you lie, you, you know, you, you do whatever you want. Huh? And then you say, A glory to Allah subhanahu wa wa bihamdi. You have to say it in Arabic, by the way. So if you say it in English, it doesn't work. Because Allah is an Arabic guy. He's an Arab potato. So, uh, alhamdulillah, you say it 100 times, brother, and then you are going not to be suppressed in the day of resurrection. So who need Muhammad? You just quote for me a hadith says that Muhammad, people, they will come to Muslims, ask him for intercession. Who need Muhammad? I just say it 100 times. And then the stupidity of Muhammad continue. And by the way, you have to say it in Arabic. Look. You see, it? it says recite in Arabic. Do you see it? Hey, people, do you see it? Can you read? It says, let me zoom in in case your vision is, is, is bad like Muhammad, you know. The guy, he could not figure out which is the nose and which is his wife of a private part. So, I seek forgiveness by Allah and repent to him. Recite this 100 times in Arabic, brother, during the day. Okay? Don't recite it in Urdu. Or in Turkish, Aman Rabbi Aman 100 times, it doesn't work. It have to be in Arabic, brother. Okay. And the same here, the same here, the same here, the same here, etc. Garbage. So, even if it was equal to the foam of the ocean, your sin, you see how much foam in the ocean, each time the, the, the waves, uh, 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 you know, come, they make foam. Even if your, if, if your sin is the same as the ocean foam, by saying such a statement, and look, you have to say it in Arabic. La ilaha illa lahu alhamdulillah wa sharika lahu lakum. This is different. This is a different sentence now. Before it was different sentence. Now this is additional one. You can take this one or that one. Take, take one, brother. Okay? And then, lahu maku wa rika ahu. And this is why Muslims, when they call me, they sound like speaking Arabic, but they don't know Arabic. And that's why I laugh at them, because they are reading this. La ilaha ilahu wa hadahu la sharika lahu lahu malaku wa halu lahu hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shitten kadir. Okay, take beer. This is what they read for me. They don't know Arabic. Okay? So what will happen if you say that? Allah forgive your sin, even if brother is they are equal to the form of the ocean. Takbir. So what you caused for, what you caught for me about the Muslim they will come to Muhammad to intercede is a joke. Read it and laugh at yourself. And then put it in front of, the, of this hadith where it says that none of your work will rescue you. So the hadith you gave me is against this hadith, and this hadith is against of the rest of the hadith, and your, your Prophet Muhammad is a shish kebab hummus. Your Prophet is like a fly fell down in the hummus in the dish of Christian Prince, and he smash it. And then Muhammad disappeared inside the hummus. And I challenge you to find Muhammad again. So none of you will be rescued by his work. So all the prayer you do is a false. All the hajj you do is false.
Kissing the black stone. Mm, um, brother, tastes so good, brother. Brother, it used to be vagina one day. And this is the clitoris of a lad. Mm, this is explained the nice taste. Allahu Akbar. And then he was asked uh, <clears throat> if not even he would. Which means, if this is case, his case too, he said, not even I. Unless Allah cover me with his mercy. Do you see it? Islam is a gambling. A moment of a truth. I don't know what why Muhammad said that now, because that is destroying all everything he tried to build. Doing Hajj, giving him money, donate to him so he can get more women and more boys and more uh, little ba babies to have sex with them. It turned to be all of this is a scam. And as you see, even him. Hmm? Just continue, continue. It's but, you know, it's based on the mercy of Allah. Now we talk about curse. This guy, he said, in the Quran said, Chapter 33, verse number 57. Indeed, those who abuse Allah and his messenger, Allah has cursed them in this world and the hereafter. But can you explain to me then why Muslims' countries are miserable? Why all Muslims they die to fly out of the Middle East and out of Muslim countries to go to the Kuffar land as long they are cursed? Why their life is better? Why their street is clean? Why their health is better? Why people live longer? If we compare between the average age of somebody living in England and somebody living in Pakistan or Bangladesh, who is the one more cursed? So obviously your curse is not working. But today we are going to talk about cursing. So we can laugh. Shall we? Curse in Islam is used always as a terrorist threat. You know, people who live in that time and until now, there's many, they are superstition. Anything happened to you, you start to figure it out. Oh, you know, I did something wrong. Oh, etc. You know, superstition. So Muhammad, he tried to install fear in the heart of the people. So he said, as an example, the following. In order to make them follow him. It says, what does being cursed by Allah and the Prophet ﷺ mean? Does this mean there is no hope for that person? First of all, the scholars defined Allah's curse, or in Arabic is known as Allah, to be expelling someone from Allah's mercy. And this is only given to major sins. So when the Prophet. Remember, right, guys, it's given only for major sin, brother. Please take a note. This is only given for major sin, brother. Are we listening? For major sin, and now he is going to tell you the major sin. In Islam, if you have sex with a child, it's not a major sin. If you kidnap your neighbor wife, she is a Jew or a Christian or a Hindu, this is not major sin. This is your right. If you kill or humiliate or spit or harm someone who is a Christian in the street or a Jew or a Hindu or atheist, this is not a sin. If a man lied to his wife and the wife lied to her husband, this is not a sin. So what is major sin? Listen carefully. Prophet ﷺ, for example, two major sins. So when the Prophet ﷺ, for example, curses women who pluck their eyebrows. Did you hear the major sin, brother? Did you hear the major sin, brother? The Muslim women who take hair from their eyebrows or from their face. 
That's deep. That's mean all Muslim women, they will go to hell. I never saw a woman, a Muslim woman, she don't have clean face from the hair. You know, especially in the Middle East or in Pakistan, people are hairy. So if women, she leave hair in her face, she will look like a goat. She will look like a man, especially it's like exactly like a man. All Muslim women, they take hair from their face. That's mean no Muslim woman, she will go to heaven. I'm going to open my Skype because I want a Muslim who have little knowledge or big knowledge to help us. Maybe we can find somebody can explain. I will take maybe one, two or three calls. If there is any Muslim can tell us why a woman taking hair from her face is a major sin, you are welcome to call me immediately. And I will be happy to listen to you. I'm opening my Skype right now. I want to know how in the world that a woman taking hair from her face is a major sin and she will go to hell. My Skype is open. And any Muslim who would like to join us, please feel free. You know, when I say stupidity is amazing, I have a clear reason for that. This is amazing stupidity. Who in the world want to believe such a garbage? The guy, he just mentioned the word major sin. So the second you hear that, you think this is maybe a fornication. Maybe they, you know, insulting Allah or his prophet. No, it turned to be that this female woman, she take hair from her face. Any Muhammadan would like to join us? Why if a female, Muslim female, she take hair from her face? Let us, let us uh, go and uh, you know, search in the internet uh, for famous Muslim females. Who is famous Muslim female? Somebody give me a name. Or those who they are, they claim to be Muslims in YouTube, you know? All of them, they have no hair on their face. And some of them, even they have their, uh, the eyebrows is even drawn by a pen. They, don't, they took the whole hair off. Uh, let us take a good Muslim. Huh? Who support... Uh, gays and lesbian and uh, abortion. Okay. Man, she took her eyebrows totally. Look what is left here. Nothing left. Few here just left. Oh boy. And look, she is wearing hijab. We have to be honest here. I mean, it's true she has a lot of makeup and she took hair from her face, but, and she is cursed by Allah now, but, you know, I mean, maybe she does not know. Somebody have to call her. You know, Fifi Abdu. By the way, Fifi Abdu is a one of the biggest whores in Egypt and she go to Hajj. Hold on. Fifi Abdu. All the hookers in the Middle East, after they sleep with every man in the world, they end their career by going to do Hajj. <laughs> and now she is a Hajji? Ifi Abdu. Wow. She is in the Hajj, brother, and she is praying to Allah. Brother. Yeah, look, 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 look at the, look, I mean, faith, faith is coming out from every place. She is now in the Hajj, and look, she is taking pictures of the Hajj, you know? If we take the word Hajj out of the search engine, what we will find? We just change the word. Oof. 
Oh boy. Okay. Oh man. Oh boy. She is a very well known Billy dancer, in case you do not know. Who almost wear nothing when she dance. But anyway, she go to Hajj and then she kissed the black stone and she touched the Yemeni corner and then all her breast sin is forgiven. Okay? She went to Hajj, brother. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Yeah. Have you ever seen a Muslim woman? She have thick. If you see them have thick, very thick, you can tell they never touch their eyebrows. That's mean they are following Islam. If they have mustache, that's mean really they are following Islam. If they don't, they are throwing Muhammad and his false teaching under the bus. Because as you see, if a woman, she shave her mustache or she take hair from her eyebrows, this is a major sin from Allah in the front of Allah and you will be punished for that. And as you see, the guy here described it himself as a major sin. It's not me. The Prophet, ﷺ, for example, curses women who pluck their eyebrows mm. or can uh, attach attachments and extensions to their hair. Oof. Or... Guys, brother, you want to you, you wanna piss Allah off? You want to piss him off? Attach something to your hair. This God is so case sensitive. He don't get upset if you rape women. He don't get upset if you have sex with the children like Aisha. He don't have sex if you spy with the neighbor or the neighbor wife. He get upset if your wife, she, got, she put attachment to her hair. What the problem with this guy? What is the reason for that? Any Muslim can tell me, my Skype is open until now, there's nobody, you know, texting me. Any Muslim can tell us why Allah will be upset. Uh, we have a Muslim saying to me, are you scared? But this is like an old text from yesterday. Let us see, maybe we can call him. He's saying to me, are you, are you scared? I'm very scared. I'm terrified. It says he is not online. Okay. Maybe his wife, she is taking hair from her face. Any Muslim can tell us why if a woman, she take hair from her face, this is a major sin, and she will go to hell. What is the reason exactly? What is behind it? Any Muhammadan? You Muslims, you like your wife to have a mustache? You like to kiss men, don't you? This is why your prophet was kissing everybody's mouth. Starting from the black stone, the mouth of the vagina of Allah. So when this guy, he speak about major sin, you, you need to take it seriously. This is, this is how stupid this religion is. And then you will see a woman, she converted to Islam, she have 10,000 kilograms of makeup. She take hair from her face, she color her hair. They don't know what Islam is about. They don't know that Islam is the most stupid cult ever. Was Muhammad bold? Her friend, he was bald or not, that will not change anything, I don't know. According to Muslims, he have long hair, so what bald? And long hair or bald will not change anything. Does it make you bad if you are long hair? Or good? Or if you are bald? What does that have to do with anything? Are you a bully? You want to bully people because of their look? We judge people by how they look like? No, we judge people by how they act like. So any Muslim can tell us why somebody like Muhammad is cursing women who take hair from their faces. So if we imagine how Aisha she used to be, let me let me try to do this. Hold on.
So oh, I found a, I found I think a woman. Let us see here. Okay, this is a woman. She is a practice in Islam. She did exactly what the Prophet told her to do. And now this woman, she will go to heaven. Is that a man or a woman? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a man. It's a woman, actually. It's a woman. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Yeah. This is how you can make a prophet and his uh, God, Allah, hey, you know, happy? By growing hair and your beard and your mustache. Uh, you know, okay. Okay. Now I know why they cover the face, man. Oh, I'm thinking of something else. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to find them, you know, the women who have a, they are following the Prophet because they are, all of them, they are taking hair from their face. Mm -hmm. So if I found a Muslim woman. No, this is not a woman. But I mean, they look the same, almost. I mean, they are going to look the same. At the end of the day, they will look the same if they follow the prophet teaching. You know? And look, they look happy, by the way. All of them, they look happy. They are blessed. You know? Well, that's good. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. So beautiful. The prophet, he wants you to be beautiful. Never shave your beard, never take hair from your face, and you are okay. Any Muslim have an answer why Allah will be upset if a woman she take hair from her face? What's exactly bothering him? And if this is the case, why Muhammad shave his face? How come a Muslim man, he can shave, but a Muslim woman, she cannot? The Muslim, they will say to you, because you are changing the way Allah, he made you look like. Okay. How come the woman, she cannot change the way Allah make her look like, but you Muslim men, you can do so? Any Muslim can tell us? Do you see the stupidity? Do you see the hypocrisy? Do you see this madman Muhammad? He like men. Even when he marry women, they like them to be hairy. They like them to have mustache, long beard, you know, hair all over their face. He enjoy it. I'm searching. Trying to find the answer as long as most of them is calling us. Maybe we can find something. I know the answer, but just to share with you. 
Okay, we found a fatwa. Hey, Kabir. Muslim, they don't want to call? Who care? Women cutting their hair and removing facial hair. And this is the fatwa number or publication number. 2001. This is new. MashaAllah. The hair is still there. Question. I am doing a project on Muslim women and I would like to know what is the ruling concerning Muslim hair? Ruling concerning Muslim hair? I mean, this guy, he have to beat his nose in everywhere, even your anus, because there is hair too there. Okay. Is she allowed to cut, cut it as much as up to her shoulder or not? What the heck? Allah will decide for how long it's going to be, brother. He decide even the model, the fashion, the style. And what about facial hair? Is it haram to get rid of it or not? Please answer. Huh? And pray my imam is strong. No, your imam is weak, da'if, da'if hadith, da'if prophet. Praise be to Allah, the almighty, the all aggressive, the all merciful, the all, the, 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 the all criminal. The question including two issues, the ruling of cutting women hair. Look what they are quoting for us, Sheikh, Abd, uh, 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 Sheikh Ibn Baz, why you, do, why you don't quote your prophet, Abdul? They are quoting Ibn Baz, you idiot. Hmm. See fatwa number, etc. And here it says, we know of nothing wrong which that, but that should be done in the proper manner which will please you and your husband. Aha, okay. So cutting hair is okay for now. Hmm. And he is talking about haircut and etc. But let us go to removal of the face from the face. Remove of hair from the face. <clears throat> but women should avoid resemble kafir women. Man, all the fashion style is coming from the kafir women. Or immoral women. Hmm. Muslim women are very moral. Okay. He continue then. Let's see what it says here, here uh, face removal, face. Okay, here we go. The standard community was asked about women removing facial hair. And they replied as follow. It's okay for women to remove hair on the upper lip. Uh, you can size, and we're talking about the face. Okay. Uh, calvis and arms. But it's not the same as a blocking eyebrows, for which is forbidden. Look at this idiot. I mean, we are just moving two inch higher, and now it's forbidden. So the woman now she is saying, saying the sheikh that she can take hair from her mustache, but she cannot take hair from her eyebrows. What is the reason? As long as I can take hair, I can take hair. Either I cannot, if the reason is I'm not allowed to change the way Allah made me look like. So what is this? Do we have any Muhammadan here? Hmm. And then he says, Abdul Aziz Ibn Baz, they are not even reading what their prophet says, they are reading what Sheikh says. They are, they, you know, they, they are copy paste, they are covered. It looks like this is the, this is the prophet now, uh, Abdul Aziz Ibn Baz, Ibn Potato. He said, and that's it. They don't even quote what their prophet said, and this is a false statement. Any Muslim can support what they are saying or go against it. Anyone? Any Abdul? Nobody? 
let us go to the sheikh in the video because he can help us better. Oh, look, because here, I mean, this is really a very funny, stupid answer. If you take your eyebrows here, that's deep. So it's a major sin, we got that. Attachments and extensions to their hair or those who do tattoos, mm -hmm. etc. This is from the Prophet ﷺ asking Allah Azza wa Jal to expel them from his mercy, which mm. means that this is a major sin. Oh boy. Or these are major sins. Mm. So this is when the curse of Allah Azza wa Jal takes place. And this only takes place over major sins. And this is why when scholars defined major sins, they said that it is any sin that Allah Azza wa Jal has cursed the one who does it, among other uh, conditions. So mm. one of the first conditions is to gain Allah's curse for doing such a sin. Now, having said that, humans may curse. So I may curse. Okay, okay. Well, it's a curse religion anyway. Islam is a curse. So listen carefully. Muhammad is cursing people, and Muslims, they are saying, because Muhammad, he cursed the one who do this, this is a major sin. So the Muslims, they don't follow Allah. They follow what Muhammad said. And look like Allah is Muhammad. Because if Muhammad, he invoke curse on you, it's a must. That's it. And now he decide what is major sin, what is not. Because if we go in the Quran, we don't find anywhere it says, that a woman, she can, you know, she cannot move hair from her face. The Quran said that Muslims or anyone who changed the way, the, the, uh, the look of Allah, he is uh, being satanic. He is being satanic. Satan, he said, Verily I will mislead them. This is chapter 4, verse 119. I will arouse in them false desire, and certainly I will order them to slit the ear of the cattle. <laughs> And I indeed, I will order them to change the nature created by Allah. Okay, let's take a note. If you change the nature which is created by Allah, like I'm talking about the, the, the physical appearance, that is Satan order. But that's mean Muhammad is Satan. Why? Let's go to the hadith. Muhammadan, Muhammadan, like Muhammad, he ordered the Muhammadan to color their hair blonde, red actually. Let us see some hadith. Remember the Quran says, if you change the way Allah He made you, you are following shaitan. Allah, He created the Arab with black hair, generally speaking. Generally speaking. Muhammad, he don't like Muslims to color their hair black. A 
Muhammad he say that the one who color his hair black, he will never enter heaven. Do you see it? And this is Sahih. This is Sahih. They can't play the game of weak and naive and you know the garbage they do. So Muhammad he claiming that signs, one of the signs of the day of judgment is you coloring your hair by black. Okay. What is the reason? Supposed to you are changing the way Allah he made you. But Muhammad he order His followers, and he used to do so. By red color. Let us show you some hadith. And we will try our best to show you only what is called authentic, so they will not play the game of uh, weak and you know you know this stupid religion. Uh, as an example, in this hadith here, it says that Abu Bakr and Omar they used to use hinna. Thabit told that when Anas, not Anas, this is Anas by the way, some people they read Anas, it's very pretty close, was asked whether the Prophet dyed his hair, he replied, if I had wanted to count the hair, the ho the hoary hair which were in his head, I could have done, which, which means he have a very few of them, they are like white, according to this guy. Uh, adding to that, he did not dye his hair. In version, he said, added that Abu Bakr dyed his hair with Hinna. And Omar, he did the same. And this is here Sahih Muslim. Let us show you a different hadith. So we can laugh more. Remember, if you change the way Allah He made you look like, you are going to go to hell. Read with me. I went with my father to the Prophet. He had locks hanging down as far as the loops of the ears stained with henna and he was wearing a gr two green garment so if you color your hair black it is haram if you color your hair red it is halal you want to be a redhead if you change the way Allah He made you look like, you are going to go to hell. I mean, how we can match all those things? Isn't it you changing how Allah made you? Let's say you have a gray hair now. Will this Allah, He created you this way. When you get older, you have a gray hair, stay with it. Why you are changing the color? And He is using what women they use. To color his hair. He is using henna. This is why if we go and search. 
in private Google, peace be upon him. I'm just trying to find a shake. Your search, you find nothing but women. Let us see if try to find some shakes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, here we go. I just found you how Muslim sheikhs following the steps and uh, and the teaching of Allah Prophet, how they look like. So look at this. This is how Muhammad used to make his beard and his hair. Do you see it? Do you see it? Look at the other guy. Things is even getting better. Look at the other guy. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, mommy red. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, it is Mr. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy. Oh, mommy. What the heck is that? Oh, mommy. I mean, they are, they have a black hair, obviously. They are Middle Eastern. What the heck is that? Oh, mommy. It's beautiful, by the way. And look at this guy. He have, he, he lost like half of the, of the, of the left side of his face teeth. Like, you know, they are gone. This is how Muhammad used to do it. This is why they are doing it exactly as you see. I mean, this is really good. It will make you look really handsome. I mean, if you think about it, I don't know, like, you know, you just think about it. And look like here, the, 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 the color is new. You know, like by time, start the gray coming back. But then when you make it brand new, so this is how you have to do it. Not only red, not only henna, it have to be so red. Look at this. Muhammad, he don't like to have a black hair. He, ha he like to be redhead. So how if a woman, she color her hair, she go to hell? If a woman, she take her hair eyebrows from her face, she go to hell? And this is the reason is, Shaitan, he says, that I will make them change the way they look like. And then we find that Muhammad, he shaved his hair from his body. He used sugar to shave it. He colored his hair. Isn't this a change in the look of Allah? Not only that. As long as the Quran says that Shaitan will make the human change the way they look like. This is what? This is the plan of Satan. This is the plan of Satan. He will make them. Slit the ears. Well, isn't it you Muslim women put earring? Why you put earring? Isn't it this is a change in the way Allah made you look like? What about circumcision then? Do you see the stupidity? So you are haram, brother, haram to change the way Allah He made you look like, and then we find that they go and they cut their penis.
And by the way, uh, in the in the translation, they say that he used to use Hinna. Uh, uh, mostly the Arab and Muhammad, he used to use something called uh, Wars and Zafaran. I don't know if you know Zafaran. I think that most of you know what Zafaran is. His beard is what? Yellow. He used what? Worse, between two brackets, a plant of yellow color in Yemen. And saffron. But if a woman, she take care from her face, she is going to go to hell. But Muhammad, why? Because she is changing the way Allah, he made her look like. <clears throat> now we go to circumcision. As long as it's from Satan to change anything Allah he made you look like. How Muslim they can explain, you know, to, to, to be uh, circumcised. And by the way, Muhammad never been circumcised. When a Muslim, he says to you, oh, you know, Paul, he did not, uh, you know, he said we should not do circumcision. This is false, by the way, it's not Paul. All the disciples agree that what it was for the Jews, it was for the Jews. That was a confident fortune of Abraham. Here we have Muhammad trying to copy the Jews. But this is against what you are teaching. You are saying that we cannot change the way Allah he made us look like. And if Muslims, they follow the steps of Abraham, Abraham, he used an oxy to cut his penis. Now, this is very usual. Because people at that time, they used to have a long, long one. You put your penis on the table, and then you have, you, 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 uh, uh, you know, like you, uh, actually in Arabic it says Qaddum. This is how Abraham circumcised himself. He put his penis on the table, and bingo and he cut and he never missed so as long, I'm not going to think about it by the way because this is really weird <laughs> I mean the guy even if you have a penis of an elephant you don't use an ox what what about a knife I mean what if you miss I mean, you use this thing, if your penis may be like seven foot, and then this little skin is going to be like maybe a few inches, so you will never miss because that's it here, you know? But you use this to do circumcision. I mean, how big this guy, you know, he was? Adam, he was six floor, seven floor uh, tall. So you can imagine how big his penis is so I can say maybe Adam will use this you know I mean even this will not work because it must be so wide and so you know I'm not going to describe it if you are like you know six floor tall hmm? if you remember the hadith where it says that Allah he created Adam he was 60 arm tall So if he is 60 span tall, how tall is his penis? Maybe in the size of maybe hijab. He looked like a penis anyway. So in one hand, we say if you change the way Allah he made you look like, you go to hell. In the other hand, we find that all of them, 
They are changing the way Allah he made them look like. Do you see how stupid this religion is? But you know, I think, I think using this uh, tool to cut your, you know, to do circumcision, I think this is a very nice way, to be honest with you. Just give it to your mother-in-law to do it for you. And she will never miss for sure. Mm. And by the way, it says here in Arabic, Qudum. And you know Qudum? Qudum is a machine have two sides. What if he hit with the wrong side, not the sharp one? You know what I'm saying? Let me show you how exactly Qudum look like. Yeah, this is the better. This is a better picture. This is how Qudum look like. I hope that Abraham did not use the other side. Takbir. So he did use this side or that side? You think about it. Disclaimer, don't do that at home. <laughs> You never know in this stupid world, people, they might do things. You never know. They, you might find that Abdul now, he says, okay, Abraham, he did it. I'm going to do it. So why you Muslim, you don't use it to do? This is how Abraham, you do it. This is how we do it. Yeah, this is an ads, exactly. Yeah, this is ads. They call it ads, right? Yeah, this is what in Arabic, this is what it says actually, not X. It is Qaddum. Depending on the translator, but you see here it says at. This is the correct translation. <clears throat> so as you see, Muhammad and his curse is a stupid curse. If you want to curse, he should curse himself. Because cursing the women for changing the way they look, yet he changed the way he looked. This man is mentally ill. And you have to agree. And how Muhammad knew that Abraham, he used this tool. Any Muslim can tell me? Uh, we, have a, we have a Muslim maybe, I don't know. Hello? I am in the train. So why are you calling me? Hey, my friend, call me when you can talk. He is in the train, he cannot talk. So why are you calling? Don't call me again, I will block you. Uh, unless you want to talk. Any Mohammedan? He is not in the train? Who is a Muhammad and he have an ads with him? And by the way, why Muhammad never been circumcised? As long as circumcision is a must, it is important for every Muslim, then your prophet himself, he never did it. Was he scared? Was he, huh? What kind of a prophet he claimed that he is doing sunnah, following the steps of Abraham, and yet he himself never circumcised himself? Any Abdul? Who of you is here first time? Give me, give me one if you are first time. If you are not first time here, give me one too. <laughs> this is the Arabic way to find out the truth 
So if you are here first time, the first time one, you know, give me one. If you are first time. If you are not first time, give me one too. And that will increase the number of those who are here first time. And will make me be proud. Look, man, look, mashallah. How many people come in first time? Alhamdulillah. Takbir. And I will make a video editing to show people how many people come in here for the first time. And I will say the cat don't walk over the Quran. So I will take the part where I said, if you are here first time, second time, give me one too. I will cut it off. I will keep the only part where it says, if you are here first time, give me one. And then people will see, man, like hundreds of people, they are here first time. This is the deception of Islam. We do circumcision even for our videos. <laughs> so the cat don't walk in the Quran, brother? Are you sure? I mean, are you sure that the cat doesn't work in the Quran? <laughs> Subhanallah, brother. Subhanallah. The cat shouldn't walk over the Quran, brother. <laughs> and then the, the crazy David Wood, he got a cat and he made the cat walk all over the Quran. And then the Muslim, they say, this is fabrication. This is not Quran anyway. This is in English, brother. I challenge you to use Arabic one. So the guy, he went back home and he got collected a bunch of Arabic Quran. You know, like he is not online in, anymore in the YouTube. Let us, let us play a video of David just to, to remember his, uh, 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 like one of the videos, which is, I, I believe it was funny and nice. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I hope people download that video because he, you know, oh, here we go. Somebody downloaded it. Hi, everyone. A lot of Muslims have been sending me videos claiming that a cat will not walk on the Quran, and they're presenting this as evidence for Islam. Evidence that proves that the Quran is the word of God. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Uh, what I did. I switched the video, hold on. Oh man. Hi everyone. Allah yeah, I don't want the audio. So yeah, I are showing you that. A lot of Muslims <laughs> have been sending me videos claiming <laughs> that a cat will not walk on the Quran. And they're presenting this as evidence for Islam. Evidence that proves that the Quran is the word of God. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Let me just mute the sound. So this is the Muslim cat. Look, the Muslim cat, she don't walk on the Quran, brother. This is a Muslim guy, he made the video. And this video was seen by millions. And people, they were like, wow. And there's some the support they claim to be Christian. A Christian Catholic reaction for the cat doesn't walk over the Quran. I mean, those come back, but they like to have a view. You know, the Muslim, they will swarm their video. Just say Christian reaction for the Quran. And then Muslims will share your, your video everywhere. So a cat, and this is a Muslim cat, by the way, because she's white. If she's a black, she's not a Muslim. You know that, right? The prophet, he says that kill every pure black animal. Every, no matter what. Or it is the devil. So now this cat, brother, with Islamic music in the background. <laughs> reaction. Look at the reaction. This guy, he have a reaction. <laughs> Look at this guy, this white guy. So we have a black guy and we have a white guy. All of them, they have reaction for the Quran. <laughs> Look at this. This guy, his reaction is even bigger. Like, what? Look at this guy, his mouth is open and his anus is wild in the field. Man, and now uh, David Wood, he came. The Qurans, let's take away the food. The cat is still standing on a Quran. The cat will not walk on the Quran. That's the Arabic right there. I have to mute the sound because sometimes you might you might get a, like a strike of copyright of our music. Okay, so what the cat is moving? It's all over. Okay, but I have bad news for you. 
This is not Arabic Quran, as you see, brother. This is not Arabic Quran, brother. This is why the cat is walking. But you see, there's Arabic there, in English and Arabic. The cat now playing with the, with the, with the thing over the Quran, brother. What an evil cat. But look, brother, as I told you, the reason she is doing that because she is a black cat. If she is a white cat, she would never walk there because she is a Muslim cat. Did you notice what David Duty did? He chose a kuffar cat, which is the proof of that she is not white. Evil. That's the Arabic. That's the Arabic of the Quran, that this cat is white. No, this is not Arabic. This is Urdu. Okay? We got you busted. Fucking all over for a piece of string. It's not even going for food. This cat has absolutely no respect whatsoever for the Quran. Do you know why? It's because cats have absolutely. First of all, what is the proof that this is a cat? Hmm? What is the proof that this is a cat and she is not a human being or a genie? Huh? Taking a form of a cat, like as an example, the Shaitan, the white Shaitan, he's not white by the way, but he come as a white person, as Jibreel. He come to Muhammad in the form of Jibreel. Allah, he cloned someone look like Jesus. Jibreel, he cloned someone look like Dahya. I mean, in Islam, everybody clone everybody. So how we knew that this is not a trick from David Wood? He paid a genie to clone himself to look like a cat and after he finished the video which is obviously fabricated the kbir the genie will go back to his home eating hummus and he take the money he took from J David Wood so listen carefully first of all I have evidence that this is not a true cat look with me focus with you brother if we look here you will see the tail is going to this direction. A true cat will not do that. Secondly, if you look here, you will see that this cat have two fingers. Have you ever heard of cats having fingers? Do you see them? Let me zoom in for you in case you are deaf and you are a Christian. Who oh Allah, he muted your heart and you cannot see the truth. Do you see it? You see those dots? Those are fingers and David Wood covered them by hair and makeup. And if you look here, you will notice the biggest evidence. This is not a cat. The reason for that and the proof of that, if you see here, she is wearing a necklace. It's haram. It's haram to wear a necklace. This is not a cat. Obviously, this is a dog. <laughs> What the heck is that? And you know, millions of people share, and those scumbags who make reaction to make money from those videos, they knew that the Muslims, they, they, are, they are like, you know, they don't, they don't use a brain. Nobody use a brain. So a guy, he called himself a Christian, or a Catholic, a Catholic, that this guy with the hair coming up, this guy, let me go back in the video. This guy, he called himself a Catholic. In, in his video, he named his video, yeah, this guy. Catholic reaction, look, he's a Catholic. I mean, we have to, I mean, look at this. There's many proofs that he's a Catholic. First, look at this, uh, the glasses. All Catholic, they wear the same glasses. And look, he's wearing a necklace. He must be a Catholic too. Look at his finger. Look at his hair. And he is Superman. All Catholic, they think they are Superman, including the Pope. So a Catholic reaction for the cat don't walk in the Quran. The other guy is not a Catholic, he's a Protestant. <laughs> oh boy. That, take a breath, man. Look, look what happened to his hair too. I mean, when you see such a scene, you know? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. It's unbelievable.
This is the proof, brother. We have, we have to agree and we have to admit, admit, you know, then they, you know, they make editing for the video and then they will do it. You can, you know, actually I, one of you sent me a video and we, you know, uh, of the Quran, of the cat, uh, on a, one of the audience sent me a video of her or his cat. Uh, walking over the Quran. It was very funny. I mean, very stupid. You must have, what, you know, if I have a dog, honestly, I will make a video just to show you how dog will be all over the Quran. If I have a donkey, I don't have to live in a farm. If I, if I have a dog, if I have a chicken, I will put the Quran in this table. And I will make a video. You must have you are humiliating yourself. And this David Wood, what's your business? I mean, Muslims, they prove that the Quran is the book of Allah because a cat did not walk over it seconds over and over again to get this cat to walk all over the Quran. Why do people claim that a cat will not walk? Look, she is coming alone again. What's wrong with this cat? She is coming alone without him. The guy is making video. He's talking and now she is coming again and stepping in the Quran. Quran. Do you know how you do that? Do you know how you get those videos? You film a bunch of footage of a cat around a Quran and then you post all the clips where the cat doesn't walk on the Quran. And then it's a miracle. Want to see how this is done? Here's a Bible. Let's see if the cat will walk on the Bible. She's standing on the Quran. Oh my goodness. She'll walk on the Quran, but won't walk on the Bible. Come on, come here. Look, look, I've got some food for you right here. Come walk on the, walk on the Bible, walk on the Bible cat. Oh my goodness, it's a miracle. This is the new proof that the Bible is the word of God. The cat will not walk on the Bible even for food. So why do Muslims post arguments like this? Why do they send me arguments like this that are so ridiculous and so easy to refute? Somebody's saying you already addressed this video. Yeah, we addressed. We are just, uh, you know, having fun. What's wrong? That's it. We can't talk about it no more. We are just having fun. Uh, what a stupid religion. They are very desperate. I would like to discuss with you something. Let us call this Muslim. Even though I have to go soon, but let us see if we can take a Muslim or two. He's not online. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I look like we are out of options here. I don't see any new. I receive a call, but I cannot find who is the one who called me. This, you know, Skype is really weird. This guy, he have a Muslim wife. He's a Christian. Let her call me when I am live. All right. Call me. Okay, let's call this guy. <laughs> Hello? Hello? How are you? Good, man. How are you? We are live on air. You know that, right? Yes, yes. Hmm. Uh, I have a question, man. Now, do you know why your prophet says if a woman should take care from her face, she will go to hell? She will be cursed? Yeah, if he changes creation, yeah. 
But so, a okay, hold on. So if you change the creation, she will go to hell. Your prophet, he color his, he, his, his beard, he shave his mustache. Isn't it changing the hair, the changing the look of Allah by doing that? Not naturally, no. What do you mean that? So the woman, she is doing the same. She take care from her face. The prophet, he take care from his face. How that is not the same? No, she changes the shape of the, of the eyebrow. Yeah, but you, you know, you are taking, you change your beard too. You trim your beard. You shave your beard. Yeah, for hygiene purposes. Okay, well, so hygiene purposes, but you are changing the way Allah, are you saying that Allah make you dirty and you are fixing it? You are fixing how Allah made you? Now, for example, Muhammad said, uh, cut your fingernails or uh, pubic hair or armpit hair. Okay, but you just said, but you just said that if we change the way Allah, he created us, that is haram. So are you, Naturally, are you yes. yeah, are you against Allah creation, how he created you? No. So why you are changing it? I just told you hygiene purposes. Okay, well, hygiene purposes. But as you are, you saying to me that the way Allah He made you is not right, and you need to fix it. It's make you dirty, and it's not it's going to make you sick. So you have to shave your private part. Of course, even with the circumcision, we have to cut off. Okay, so, so but you just said, of course. You just say that Allah, he made you in a way which is not right, and you need to fix it. Your God did it as well, according to your logic. No, you see, my God did not curse me if I shave my beard or I, uh, if a woman take care from her face. This is your God. So don't change the topic. So I'm so asking you, you I'm asking you, I'm asking you, your prophet never circumcised himself too. However, he did, he did, he did. Well, if you can show me the proofs, I'm, I am here, I'm, I'm waiting, go ahead. Okay. Uh, there's three opinions, but the most authentic one is that Don't tell me three opinions, give me a story, give me a proof. Don't tell me opinion. Okay. His grandfather circumcised him on the seventh day. What, what? His grandfather circumcised him on the seventh day. Give me a proof. Okay, I, I need to search. Okay, I will, give, I will give you ten years. Well, uh, there is, there is, there's narrations. Okay, no problem. It's going to take me, uh, hold on a sec. Hmm. <clears throat> So uh, before, when I search for it, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Uh, what's your proof Christianity is the truth? Well, the proof is in the Quran. <laughs> now I'm asking you about your religion. Well, you are a person who believes in Islam, so if I give you a proof from different book, you will not uh, like it, you will not even accept it, so why I want to waste my time? The Quran says it clearly that those who they are Christian and those who they are Jews and those even who worship the stars, they will go to heaven. Is that true? Uh, Ibn Abbas said one day after the Surat uh, Imran verse 85 was revealed about no religion will be accepted except Islam. Okay, but this is this is a contradiction. No, it's talking about the past. What past? No, it says, here we go. Let us read the verse together. You know how to read, right? You are not like your prophet. Chapter I'm 2. I'm searching up right now. You read chat, it. Chapter Search. 2, verse number 62, it says, and this is in the time of Muhammad, not in the previously. Those who they are, the believe, the one who believe in the Quran or Islam, uh, and those is it in past tense? No, no. This is about lying? we can read the interpretation. Yeah, but before Muhammad, of course. What before Muhammad? This is given to Muhammad. Yeah, but before Muhammad, Habibi. So what? Listen, it's given to Muhammad, and this is for people before Muhammad. No, it's talking about the uh, about it's giving information about the past, just like you know stories of the prophets. Before. Okay, no, it says women um, and, and those who believe. Read with me carefully. It's in the front of you, and who believed, not believed. It's your translation, and any who believe in Allah and the last days, and do righteousness, all of those they will go to heaven. So I will, no, as long as you mention this, how even the Sabians they will go to heaven. Sabians they worship stars. Ah, uh, there's a difference of opinion what the Sabians were. You know, Sabian are always the people worship as stars. In ISIS, they capture them, they kill them. Those are the Yazidi. Well, uh, uh, the Sabians are also said to claim that they have they have no religion. That's why they are called Sabians. That's false. Okay, if somebody who don't have religion, then how will he go to heaven? Well, it says if he does righteous deeds. According to Islam, all what right. is the righteous uh, deeds? But you just said to me, Allah, he said, don't accept anything except Islam. 
Of course. Okay. So how Allah he accept nothing except Islam and those people? They have no God. You just told, said to me. No, they have no religion. They have no God. That's me. Religion, they have no God. Who said that? You said that. Because when you say that they have no religion, it means they don't worship anything. No, that's not what I said. Okay, you said they have no religion. So they, do they worship something or they don't? Uh, yes. That means they have religion. <laughs> no, but they don't have a way of life. They, they, they what do you mean way of life? God. Religion is they, worshiping they, a god. Listen carefully. Secondly, who's, who is the liar? He says to you that those people, they have no religion. That's why they are called Sabian. Sabian, Sabian is not an ethnic. Stop lying to yourself. And I can open a big uh, for you. I can open yeah, up yeah, I can open up for Tabi. Huh? Ibn Kathir says that. Ibn Kathir says there's, there's difference of opinion, what it means. Okay, you Muslims always have different opinions. I just ask you, did your prophet get the circumcision? You said there's a three opinion. So how in the world is religion function? You even, even that little, that little part of a penis in the prophet body, you don't agree about it. Three opinion. One say never, one say he did, the other one says what? He have uh, cut half of it. So you Muslims in order to escape of anything embarrassing, you say there's many opinions. So Islam is not religion of God, it's religion of opinions. And always the no, three the, and you, always you have, you have and all look. and always there is a three opinion. Always three opinion. At the end, Allah knows best, correct? Of course. Okay, but so that's mean you do not know anything. So I'm asking you now. You said it says that those who they are before Islam. How you can prove that to me? Go ahead. Well, how you can prove to me that they were uh, at the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Choose for me interpretation. I will open it. Whatever it says, I'm going to accept. Whatever. Uh, okay, go to Ibn Kathir. All right, we go, we go to Ibn Kathir. Here you go. This is a chapter two, verse number 62. Can you see my screen? Yes. All right. And this is Ibn Kathir. I want to see the full screen. Here we go. This is the whole screen. You can open it from your side. I mean, Ibn Kathir, this is a Muslim website. All right. It says, <clears throat> uh, in the Ladina Amanu, Ladina Hadu, one of Sara was Sabi, you know, women Amen Abilahi, William Lakher. They have, you know, they have no uh, fear. It's in front of you. It says, Those who believe, do you see believe, not believed? And those who are, do you see the word are? Yes. Okay, are is that a past tense or it's a present tense? Okay, but I don't know, Eric. You, you tell me, Eric. Is there no, no, my friend. You, you know, you speak tense. you speak English better better than me. Who are? Is it a past tense or now? I don't care about are. I care about the word. No, believe. I care about are. We care. Why we don't care? We are we are arguing if this is before. That's why you asked me to open a big theory. You are the one who asked me. Scroll down. And says, Scroll down. Oh, hold on. Or is it from the past? We will go, we will go read the whole page. We will read the whole page. Stop laughing. You're laughing at yourself. You're laughing at yourself. So why you lie and you say this is in the past? But in Ibn Kathir it says who are Jews and Christians. Is or is something for the past or for the present? Can be uh, all in the past. And in the which language? In who is the one who taught you that the word or is for the, pa the past? You are. It's mean in the past. So if I say you are a liar, I'm saying you were a liar. Okay, scroll down. Don't say okay, scared, give me the down. answer. You see, you are talking to Christian prince. He will spank, he wouldn't debate. Most of they are liars. Okay, we prove spank it. Me, so scroll down. Does it say, does it say who are or not? Does it say no religion will be accepted from them? Or I not? don't care. This is a contradiction. This is a contradiction. No contradiction. We will go, we will, we will go down because this will this is why I'm saying this contradiction. But does it say who are? Because the argument you made to me, that this is in the past. So you have to admit first that you are a liar, and you are not saying the truth, and this is about people who they are in the present of Muhammad. It says who are. And it says whoever does believe in I don't Allah care. Does it say who are? Focus with me. Who are Jews and Christians, not the one used to be Jews and Christians. Who are? Does it say who are? 
Yes, but the Quran says also, for example... Okay, so the, let us agree wait, first. Wait, is, it me... the, is it the present or in the past? You said to me this is in the past, before Islam, before Muhammad. It says do righteous deeds according to Islam. Don't change the topic now. I'm asking you. You say it. Says, it says, and you it's say it. I don't care. I'm asking you. You say it, no, but you this is care. not for the people. You, in the, the you say it. It's not for people in the time of Muhammad. It says here who are. So who are. Is it for the past or for now? It says the Jews and Christians, the Sabians. Does if it they say believe? who are? Focus with me. Don't skip. You see, we went here because you said to me, do you remember why we are here? You, you do what you must have do. You, you, you jump like a rabbit from place to place, all over the place, so you escape. Here is, you, you brought me here. You said, this is not for the Jews and the Christian in the time of Muhammad. Did you say that? Even if it is... Did you say that? About... Did, you, did you say that? That this is not yeah, for yeah, the time of it, Jesus. It, okay, the time of Muhammad. First so, of all, so now here it says who are. Don't interrupt me when I speak. No, I interrupt you. We are talking both of us. You can interrupt me too. Go ahead. So, who no, are? But, no, but the, the when you say who, when you say who the are, when you say who are, the audience mean, can't hear me, bro. That, no, they can't hear you. They can hear me too. Don't worry. Who yeah, are? Yeah, it says those who believe. Those mean, who believe. No, it says who are. Yeah, and the so, Jews and Christians. So the question now, the question now, you need to apologize for lying. Who are? Is it for the present or for the past? No problem. Let's say they are in the present. If no, they don't tell me let me say. Don't, 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 don't tell me let us say. Let us focus first. Let us fix it. So it is for the present. <laughs> is it for the present? <laughs> are, are you going to? Uh, are, you going to act, are you going to act like what? a kid? Are you going to act like a kid now? No, but okay, so speak like me. a man. Speak like a man. So I can love to. So, speak like a man. Who are, is that in the present or in the past? I keep repeating the same question uh, 50 times in less than two minutes. You don't want to answer. Okay, okay, okay. It's, uh, I'll go with you, it's in present. So, you apologize for lying when you said this is was for people before Muhammad. Uh, no, because the Jews and Christians who believed in the Torah and the Injil and practiced what is you said, you, 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 you just said, this is for the present. Don't interrupt me, why are you interrupting you me? You just said, this is for the present, but five minutes ago, you said this is for the past. So apologize also, for lying, also, the Jews and Christians for, for, lying, for lying, that even make it more horrible. You just add also. So now, people before Muhammad, they are right. This is mean the 600 years after Jesus, Christians are right. No, Muhammad said they have the Injil, but they do listen, not practice listen, what is in it. You just said also. Listen, listen, listen. listen. You just said Let all, me speak. And he also. Said they, you just listen. said everybody heard you. And also the Christians before Muhammad. You added also, not me. So now we have the Christian well, in the time of finish. Muhammad. Let me finish. I am letting you finish. You just said that Christian in the time of Muhammad, they are saved. And a Christian before Muhammad, they are saved. So what is time for? Go ahead. <laughs> Muhammad said they have the Injil, but they do not practice what is in it. The Christians. Muhammad, he said, focus with me, guys. You said they have the Injil, but they don't practice it. That's mean the Injil is true, and it's between their hands, and it's true, correct? Yes. So why you must lie, you say the Injil is corrupt? Because it is. However, the Quran you, you says... Just say, you just uh, say they have the Injil, and they don't practice it. So Allah preserves. It, it it's in the Quran. It, it's in the Quran. Allah it, preserves it, the is prophecies it? of Prophet Muhammad in the Injil. Listen, Indian. listen, listen. We will go there so we can laugh more. But you just said that they have the Injil. Did you say that? And they don't practice it. So it's not. It's not corrupt. They have the Injil, not the corrupt Injil. You said that. No, but Muhammad said in a Sahih Hadith they corrupted their books to the Jews and Christians. Muhammad, he said in Sahih Hadith they corrupted. Show me the Hadith and we will laugh. Okay, it's in uh, uh, Mustadrak. Mustadrak? Are you sure? Yes. yes. Okay, let us go and show you from better hadith, the same hadith. Mustadrak, huh? What do you mm. mean? Okay. Let us go. You're a prophet. He said that a Jew, he put his finger over a word. He did not change anything. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, let us see what we mean. Read with me. And I will give you better than the Mustadrak. Here we go. You're a prophet. You're a prophet. He come to the Jews. Hmm? And they ask him about uh, the, the, the zina. You know? Yeah. He told them, bring me the Torah. And then one of the Jews, he started reading the Torah. And then he placed his hand over 
a verse in the Torah. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So he did not corrupt it. He just covered it by his finger. What do you mean? What do you mean? You just agreed. The guy, the words is there. The sentence is there. He just put his finger over the word so Muhammad will not see it. And you said, yeah. And we can yeah. open up the Kathir Bible to read it too. Yeah, correct. Okay, so, but, uh, so they did not correct. They did not correct. They did not correct. They did not correct. And now we have a hadith in front of you. It says that your prophet, he took an oath on it. Okay, I'm going to explain answer two ways. Okay. First, the, the, first, the hadith talks about that the passage in the Torah about stoning says that you need four witnesses and in the Torah we have today there's no such thing and also the vast major the vast majority of scholars have said that this hadith is weak and fabricated are you done yeah okay guys this hadith is fabricated and it says in the front of me Hassan which means goods secondly as long you just said two minutes ago that they have the book with them, but they don't practice it. Now you are saying it's fabricated. How stupid is that? Add to that, you said that in the book they have four witnesses, but you Muslims always have two witnesses, and this is something came in you. Now, if I ask you in front of everybody, when Muhammad, he put the Torah over his the cushion, did he say, I believe in one verse, or he said, I believe in the Torah? I just said it's not authentic. Oh, not authentic. Okay, what about the Quran? Is it authentic? Yeah, of course. Okay, let's go to the Quran then. And now you will say to me the Quran is daif. No. In a second, just wait. I assure you. Here we go. Chapter 2, verse number 89. It says, confirming what is with them. Yeah. Okay, so you, but you just said, but you just said that the book is corrupted. Yeah, it says. But when the uh, when the Quran says confirming what is with them, it is talking about the uh, passages with that prophet, such Prophet Muhammad, because Allah says if they were to judge what is in the Torah. And well, this is the hypocrisy it, because that, because that, the verse then, then because the verse says, listen, Abdul, the verse says confirming what is with them, not some verses with them. So why you must fabricate things is not there. Because are you are you are you are you a botany and a zahiri? Are you like you have many meaning of the Quran as you wish? Because the Quran says if they were to, uh, the Quran says he confirms what is with them. And then it says if they were to believe what is in it, then they would become Muslims. No problem. So, but, so, okay. but now, now you made it more horrible. Now you made it, okay. now you made it more horrible because you just said if you believe in the book is with them, that will make them Muslim. That's mean not a single word in the book is corrupted. No, no. What? The specific passages in the Torah and in the Injil is going to make them convert. The only possible thing is if it's talking about the prophecies of Prophet Muhammad. Okay, That's the only thing. guys, if the only the, the only possible thing if it's talking about the prophecy of Muhammad, but Muhammad confirming what is with them, not what about him with them. Does it say in the verse what is with them about me? You see, there is a Hassan uh, Hadith in. Uh, this is not here. We go Hassan wait, Hadith wait. and Daif Hadith. I'm reading Quran. Does it say yeah, yeah, okay. confirming what is within? Does it say the word some? No, but it says they, they would become Muslims. What do they become of, Muslims? Of listen passage. carefully. Listen carefully. I don't care if they will become Muslims or Hindu now. It says confirming what is with them, which means whatever with them. Is confirmed, and actually, the word confirm is a lie. It says here, Musaddiqun Lima Mahum. Do you know what Musaddiq mean? Verify, verify. What no, it no, it means believing. No, no, no. Don't you call, <laughs> don't you call Abu Bakr Abu Bakr Siddiq? What does that mean? Wait, okay. There's a. <laughs> Do wait, you speak wait, Arabic wait, to tell me that wait, it's not true? Wait, wait, Do you speak, speak Arabic speak to tell like... me that this is not a true meaning? But wait, can I say So something? you do not know Arabic like, and you are correcting me now, Musaddiq, it's me believing. Okay, no problem. Okay, so how the Quran with you, coming from Allah, believing in what is with them, if the book with okay. us is corrupt? Because Umar ibn Khattab was reading from the Torah and Prophet Muhammad got angry and he, uh, and, uh, he said, how do you, why are you reading from the Torah when it's uh, corrupted and stuff?
And yet also said, and then, okay, and but you see, whatever. the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction, correct? Of course. Okay, and this is a contradiction because uh, first of all, we see Muhammad sitting with the Jews, swearing by the, by, the, by the Torah, and they are reading the Torah for him. And now you are saying to me, he is angry because they are reading the Torah. Secondly, how Abu Bakr, how, 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 how Omar or Abu Bakr or Muhammad can even read the Torah? The Torah is in Hebrew. Do your prophet speak Hebrew? My prophet? Uh -huh. No. So how he was able to read it? My prophet didn't read it. You said, Abu, Omar you, said, you said Omar didn't read it. Did he speak Hebrew? Uh, I don't know. But maybe he was uh, getting <laughs> okay, listen. You so now, now we have a conclusion that the one who, if this book is made by other than Allah, which means not by God, you will find a lot of contradiction in it. We agree? Yeah. Okay. If you are a Christian in the time of Muhammad, we showed you from Ibn Kathir, it says those who they are Christians and those who they are Jews, and you agree, this is for the present, correct? Yeah, if they believe, if they believe. If they believe, they are Christian. It doesn't say if they believe, it says those who believe yeah, in does, the Quran. it does, it does. No, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Let us go. It does. It does. Let us laugh. Here we go. It says, who, be verse. who believe this is Islam, who believe in, in Islam. Yeah, okay. Allah. And, and, do you see the word and? Do you see the word and? Yeah. Okay. And those. This is a different group. Yeah. And it doesn't say or. It says and. No, no, no. Yeah. It says you and. Exactly. And now we have different group, different belief. And those who they no, are Jews. Say, okay. Why they are called or. Jews? Why or. they are called Jews? Because simply they don't believe in your prophet. What do you mean? What do you mean? Why they call why you call them Jews if they are Muslims? <laughs> okay. Go on. But, but listen, you, you 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 even your lies doesn't match, you need a glue. So when you say we believe, obviously it's about the Quran. Even if we go to the translation you Muslims have, it says those who believe in the Quran. Those who believe in the Quran of Allah and the Jews and the Christians. Those and the Sabians. So those are different groups. The first group. No, 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 the no, first no. group. They, the first they, group. Wait, wait. Hmm. No, no. If they were different, it would have said or, not and. The, and uh, no, no. You see what or? What or? Yes. No or or th that would be for different thing because now we have talking about different group. Exactly. Or if they, they are the they same group. End. Or if they are the same group, like you eat falafel, or you eat hummus, or you eat etc. This is not the case. So you have to say, and, 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 because each one of them is different religion. I, and, and you yourself, okay. you said to me, okay. and when, when I ask you, when I ask you, uh, what is a Sabi and what you said? Uh, there's different opinions. Some say there's Here we go, guys. There's different opinion. Give me an opinion you believe in. <laughs> Are you saying to me that you Muslims, you don't have a belief, you have opinion. So now we, even this one have different opinion. I mean, I did not name for me one, name for you one thing, and you did not say to me we have different opinion in order to escape. So I want you to give me the opinion, which is a true opinion. Well, I am not a prophet or something. Then shut I'm up and to... don't call me. Suddenly, now he isn't a prophet. You see how they try to escape? Talking to a Muslim is the same as a playing with a snake. Anything is embarrassing, there's a three opinion. There's four opinion. Okay, which one? I am not a prophet. What do you mean, a prophet? So all those people, they made opinion. Are they prophet too? And what kind of religion is based on opinion? Even something very simple, you cannot answer. In the front of us, for the first lie you said to me, oh, this is in the past. But in the front of us, it says who are. And it says Jews. And Jews are not Muslim. That's why they are called Jews. If they are Muslim, we will call them Muslims. As simple as that. We have Abbas, you want to call me. Ali Abbas. <laughs> Ali Abbas, he will give me that opinion too. Hello?
Hello? He's son of Muta. Nobody heard you, by the way. He's pissing at the Quran. <clears throat> Do you see how stupid this religion is? This person, he have an answer for the Christian and Jewish verses. <clears throat> Hello? Mm -hmm. You are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Okay, so... Uh, so, can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Okay. okay. So, those who believe in Allah... Mm. So, so, those who believe in Allah... Okay. Mm -hmm. The Quran describes mm. what Allah is. Oh, what is Allah? The Quran describes what Allah is. What Allah is? His, his, his attributes. His what is attributes. What Allah, you see, I asked you what Allah is. You said to me, attribute. What kind of religion? Is it? I asked you what Allah, Allah is. is. Allah is God. Allah is God. Okay. And the Quran describes his nature, his attributes, and how he is what is, the, what is the nature of Allah? Na all powerful, all 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 knowing, you know, etc. etc. Okay, hold on. You, you just said all powerful, all knowing. Is that correct? Is that correct? Hello? He hang up. Allah is all powerful. That is a joke of the century. Let me call him back. He declined my call. Can you believe it? <laughs> and he told me he can answer. Allah is all powerful. He promised the Muslim that 100 of you can win against 1,000. They went to war, they got potato. And then Allah, he changed. And he said, now Allah, he just found out that you have a weakness. So 200 of you can fight. Uh, 100 of you can fight 200. What the heck? From 100 can fight 1,000 to 100 can fight 200. And now Allah in the present, in you, you just find out. If Allah is all powerful, even if I am one person against a million, billion, trillion, I will win because Allah with me, if He is God. Who cares for the numbers? If your God, he promised you to be victorious in this war, you will be victorious. But they went, they got spanked, and they came to Muhammad and they said to him, you lied to us. Even he claimed, Muhammad, that he saw a dream that those people, they will be less. They will be less. They went there, they found a way more. The God of the Jews, he gave them victory, even they are no match to the enemy. Not by number, not by weapon, not by anything. This is what the Bible says, if God is with me, who could be against me? So Allah is all powerful, and now he declined. I called him, he declined my call. This guy did not survive even two minutes. The other guy, there is many opinions. Anything is embarrassing, they escape it either by saying da'if hadith, and accepted hadith, da'if opinion. For Islam is not a religion, Islam is based on many opinions. And the opinion they like, they go for it. Anything, you know, support the stage we are in. Like I'm now debating Christian, and this is embarrassing. So what opinion I should take? We have Safaraz. Who will give me different opinion now? Hey, Safaraz, how are you? I'm okay, I'm okay. You have opinion or you don't have opinion? Opinion on, an, on a what? You don't, you're not listening? Yeah, about, about the wars. You know, we, we talk about the Christians. The Christians, in the time of Muhammad, they've been promised to go to heaven and the Jews. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? Is it in the past or in the present of Muhammad? <coughs> Yeah, cough, cough. You need to cough. Mm. This is talking about 
This is talking about the Jews who believed in Allah and the final prophet Muhammad. Uh, if they are believers in Muhammad, why it says Jews? Eh? Huh? Because they like to be called Jews. Ah, uh, they like it. Uh -huh. And why, no, they no, no, why they are called the Christians? Why they call the Christian? Why they are called the? Oops, oops, listen, listen, listen. First of all, you are a liar, because those people they can remain their name as Jews, and the Quran says Allah cursed the Jews. So if they are called Jews because they like it, but the Quran says the only religion I accept is Islam. Is that correct? Yeah, good. And who is the one who called them Jews? The Jews, isn't it? Who is the one who called the Jews Jews, according to Islam? The Okay, Jews, I mean, just go, just, 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 just squeeze it. You know, I'm, I feel like I'm sitting in the bathroom and I'm trying to squeeze it from unbelievable. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, who are the Muslims? They don't know. They don't know what they are talking about. They are called Jews because they believe in Muhammad now because they like it, and they are called the Christians because they are they like it. <laughs> What's wrong with those people? Brainless. You cannot find one Muslim, no matter this guy, his beard is like two meter. It doesn't matter how big their beard, their brain is not in the size of a mosquito. He will give me an opinion now. Are you giving me an opinion or you are sure? But you never let, let me answer. Let, you know let that, me and I want an answer. Are you, can you confirm to me? that those are called Jews because they like it. They, they, they're called Jews because they're from the tribe of Judah. That's where the name... No, you just Jew said to me a second ago, because they like it. Now you switch. No, it's because they, they are from the oh, no, no, tribe no, of do you mean, no, Judah. You said to me they are called Jews because they like it. You said that. You forgot what you said? Obviously, they like it, but they're from the tribe of Hold Judah. Hold on. How, okay. No, so go. now they are from the tribe of... of Judah. Of Judah. That's why that's why they call it the Jews. Okay. Are they from the tribe of Judah? Eddie Kane, you are you hold are on, not hold on, hold on, hold on. Are they are they from the tribe of Judah? Judah. Yeah. Jesus was the tribe of Judah. Well, hold on. What Judah? What is Jesus here? Have no father. They're from the tribe of Judah. Abdul. Isn't it the Quran says you call them by the name of their father? What's that? With that? Isn't it the Quran says, call them by the name of their father? Yeah. Okay, what is the father's name of Jesus? No, but the... but the. Don't tell me Christian. no, I'm asking you. It says, call them, call them in the name of their father. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. what is the name of the father of Jesus so we can take him to be from Judah? We know, <laughs> yeah, cough, cough. Muslims know that he's not from the tribe of Judah, but the Christians who call him from the tribe of Judah. You said, you said that, not me. You know, I'm just following no, a Muslim who is drunk. Abdul, listen. The when the when the Quran says, when the when the Quran says, call them by the name of their fathers. He yeah. was talking about people who have a father, correct? Yes. Okay. What what Jesus' case will be? Jesus for Isla was not even. A Jew, to be honest. Uh, to be honest, I agree. He is the God of the Jews. The Christians, the Christians. I'm asking you a specific question. Is the Quran here mistaken? Because it says, "Call them by the name of their fathers." Does it goes for everybody, or doesn't doesn't go for everybody? No, for for everyone. Everyone, give me the name of the father of Jesus. He has no father. So how we can call him now? What's that? How what we call him? What do we call him? Call him just Christ or Isa, Yeshua, whatever? No, you call him Isa, the son of Mary. Yeah. Okay, but this is contradiction. Why? You just said we cannot call anyone, we should not call anyone except by the name of their father. And yeah. then you say when we talk, call Jesus, we, we say Jesus, the son of Mary. So yeah. how we don't call them by any name except their father? And then we say Mary. Because he has no father, so we have to call him by. But uh, is is the Quran is the Quran aware that not everybody have a father? 
Yes. Okay. Shouldn't the Quran says that call them by the name of their father if they have a father? Why would I say that for? Come on, CP. Because Stop there is people who have no father, as an example, Adam, as an example, uh, Jesus, as an example, Eve. Yeah, but that's why we call Jesus. Son of okay, Mary. but this is mean. This is a contradiction because either we call them by the name of their father, or we can call them by any name, by the name of their mother too. Yeah, it's out of, out of you know. No, hold on. If there is a verse in the Quran that says you can call them by the name of their father, their mother. Yeah. Hmm? No, because if there is a no verse in the Quran. Listen carefully. If there is a verse in the Quran that says we can call them by the name of their mothers. No. Okay. But, but, so how Jesus become the son of Mary? Because he's the only one without the father. You. This is not, not true. Has, Adam, he have no father. Yeah, but Adam had no mother. So okay. He's called Adam. All right, no problem. So Adam, you have no father, no mother. So we cannot compare Adam to Jesus, correct? Compare him in, in, in what way? And they are similar. They're not similar. They are not similar, exactly. So how does the Quran say that Jesus is the same as Adam? It says that he was created in, 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 in a way where, no. you know... Say, okay, here we go. Like, I just ask you, are they similar? You said, no, they are not similar. A second ago, we go to chapter 3, verse number 59. It says that Jesus is the same as Adam. No, are they it similar? Is, and we are talking about it, the creation. We are talking about Devin Father. Father, Father, Mother, Mother. So we are asking now about creation. Is it born without Father? Is it about creation too? No, what? Well, Allah says the similarity between these two is that Allah said be and, and, it, and it was. It okay, was like, but this is absolutely false because Allah did not create Adam by be, did he? He did. Okay, let us go and check. Allah, he said be before he mix mud to Adam, make fashion Adam, breathe into Adam or after. Yeah. But yeah, I'm asking question. What? Well, what was the question again? <laughs> Allah, you said to me, Allah, he said, be, and Adam was, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Allah, he said, be, and Adam was, before Allah, he made mud, he makes the mud, and the dirt, make with water, and then he fashioned a person, his name is Adam, yeah. and then he breathed into Adam. Did Allah say the word be before he did this action or after he did the action? We don't know it before, obviously. Before, obviously. Okay, guys, did you say or before, obviously? It must have been before. No, 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 don't, 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 don't swallow it again. We just heard you. You said it already. Did you say before, obviously? Yeah. Okay. If Allah, he said, be to Adam before, obviously, was Adam there? No, it was the mud. It was, it was be, it was so, so the verse in the Quran is a fraud because uh, Allah, he said, be, and he was. It was Allah. You just said to me, I ask you, when he, Allah, he said, be, was he there? You said, no. No, the mud there and the soul put in there. And what that about was the mud point there? Listen, Abdul, you are, you, are laying, you are laying not eggs for me, jewels. You know, people will die laughing. I ask you, when Allah, he said, be to Adam, was he there? You said, no. No, but the creation was there. What what he was What a creation? Out. What a creation? I just asked you. He was mud. there. You said no. What creation? Mud. The the, the clay what was you there. Mean, so, you just said he he said be before he made the mud. No, the mud was there. The clay was there, and then he said. Abdul, be, and, you and I ask you, Allah, he said be before he made mud by his two hands, or after? You said before, obviously, correct. Yeah. Wrong. I got a question mistaken. I said he would take the mud, he got he got the clay and put the soul there, and then he said be and it, and it was. You Simple. see now you are you are you are you are flipping upside down. Now you say it. Now you, you just say it. You just say that Allah he said be after he made mud. A second ago you said Allah he said be before he made mud. Oh, but I got confused by your question. That's that's why. You are confused because you are in, you know you must never confuse all the time. It's not my fault. Don't blame me. Blame the Jews. So listen. I, I asked you if Allah, he said, be before. You said before, obviously. Now you switch. You said Allah, he made mud. And then he said yeah. be. 
That's what I said. Before he was created, before he was created like a human. Okay, before, before he, was he was a human. Before, no, I said to you, before Allah, he made mud, or after he made mud and breathed into him, Allah said, be, you said, obviously, before. So don't lie. I got confused by question, CP. I got what do you mean confused? By confused? You, are, you, are, you are talking about your God. Listen carefully. Open your ears. Huh? All right, let me okay, let me repeat it. the question let's... again. Listen, I will repeat the question again. I will speak slow because Muslims are slow and we both agree. So listen, Allah, he said, be to Adam. And he was before he made mud by his both hands. And then he breathed into him after he fashioned him. Or after he made mud, he fashioned the mud, he breathed in the mud. So did he say be before or after? The mic is yours. After he after he fashioned him out of clay, then he put the soul there, and then he said be, and he, and he was. Simple. What the heck with that? So uh, uh, Adam, is fin uh, Adam is finished. So what the point of be? Allah, he made mud. Allah, he fashioned the mud. Allah breathed in the mud. And now he said, "Be the guy is done." <laughs> because it was clay. It was just normal. It was not human being. Listen, what do you mean that a human being? What What do you mean he breathed into him? What when Allah he breathed into him? What he did? He breathed the soul there, and then uh -huh. that was so Allah, Allah, he breathed the soul. So now we have Adam, a human being. He have a soul. You was not there, CP. You was not there when we make the uh, Adam. So you cannot say exactly how how it was. You know, I know how it was, isn't it? Your prophet, he says, when Allah he breathed into him. Okay, listen, Allah he breathed into Adam from where? What do you mean? Where? From where? From his mouth, from his nose, from where? Whatever. Oh, uh, there's what? a place in his body. It's called whatever. Mouth, you say. I'm asking you then. I don't want to. Maybe his anus then. Mouth, you say. Mouth. mouth. Okay, mouth. So, guys. Allah, he breathed into Adam from his mouth. So Adam have a mouth now. What do you mean Adam mouth now? You just said to me, he breathed to him from his mouth. He be the soul. Yeah. I ask you where Allah, he breathed his soul to him. You said from his mouth. So Adam already have a mouth now, right? He breathed the soul into the clay, you know, that made it. And then he put the soul there, Allah. And that's it. He said, he it where? Oh, you said to me his mouth. Oh my word! Allah blew from his mouth. Okay, so he, okay, so the mouth he have a mouth now in this stage when Allah he breathed into the mouth. Adam he have a mouth, correct? My mouth, he's all. Um, oh my word! You getting confused, CP man? Allah blew the soul. Hmm. Allah blew blew the soul into the clay. Uh -huh. You know, as 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 it, as it was being fashioned out. Blew the soul, and that mm. was it. Said, "Good for you, and that was it. Adam, Adam was there, crazy. So what? Okay, okay, hold on. So Allah, He blew the soul after He fashioned the 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 the, the mud by His hands. Did Allah use His hands? Huh? Huh? Did Allah use His hands? He fashioned His hand. He fashioned. It, uh, if it said, if it says in in a verse, hands yet, then hands in. If it doesn't say, it's not. Have, have you got the verse there? So far as why you grow your beard? I mean, are you trying to make yourself look like a sheikh? Are you saying to me that the verses I showed you like seven times already in the screen, you did not read them if it says by his hands or not? Are you, how old are you? All those years, and you call me, you want to argue with me, until now you do not know if Allah used his hands. Okay, let me ask you then. Allah, when he created Adam, did he use his hands or his feet? He says in that verse, by the hands. Okay, uh, let me repeat again. I want you to confirm. When Allah, he created Adam, did he create him by his hands or by his feet? If it says hands in his hands. Uh, this is another question. Don't tell me if. You see, no, I, I, say, I hang up on Muslim because, because they play games. I don't want if. I want to answer. So I'm asking it's you, in when the Allah he created Adam, did he use his hands or his feet? Hands then. How you know it's not his feet? But the verse is hands. There's a verse says his feet? No, no, there's no verse that he created him out of his feet. Come on, man. But Allah has feet, right? Eh? We huh? don't. What do you mean now? 
he has but we can't describe how his feet how his hands look like how his uh, this is another question does Allah have feet or not yeah, yeah okay so Allah have hands Allah have feet why what do you mean why 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 he have them because he has them simple why he have them he has them because that's his that's his own that's his own choice oh uh, so Allah he, he designed himself no he not design he was he was always there God has always been there Oh, so he did not like you know Allah. He did not choose uh, if he like to have feet. You know, somebody made him with feet and hands. He did, he did not. He did not create himself. No, no, no. No. So how? Why? How he got feet? Then why he? Well, you know, if Allah he say things, he say be, and it was why he need hands and feet. What do you mean? Why every question I ask you, you say what do you mean? Because you asking stupid okay, questions. If Allah he say to things be, and then things will be. Why Allah need to have hands? Because he chose, because he chose to make him out of with his with his hands. Simple. Allah because he chose. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Listen, Allah he chose to have hands. Did you just say that? No, I said he chose to create Adam with his hands. Simple. But this is another question. Why Allah he need hands if he said to Adam be and he was? Why he need hands? He's he's always okay. at hands. Do Allah create things by using his hands or by saying be? It depends on what he wants. If he if he wants to create by his hands, he's create by his hands. If he if he says be kun haykun and kun feykun. Okay. In the case of Adam, did he create him by his hands or by saying be? It, it says that the verse says he touched the clay out with his hands. False. And then he said false. False. Soul. False. You want to bet? It says he the, created him by his hands. The, if if Tashin if Tashin the clay out. No, he did not say that. He said I created you by my hands. Yeah. So With, it, this way, why you are making things up? Why you said he fashioned him by his? He said I created you by my hands. Does it say that? That's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing because. Okay. If I say I created you, that's mean all the creation done by the hands. He said he fashioned him with the clay. No, read carefully. The verse in the front of you, chapter 38, verse number 75. Yeah. What, yeah? Can you please uh, read it, please, for my screen? Yeah. I do not know how to read. Come on, CPs. I am a out. prophet. All Muslim prophets do not know how to read. Don't you see my name, Arabian prophet? Arabian prophet. What a fake name. This is not. This is a true name. You know, I split the moon. Did you see it yesterday? No one. No one seen you. Press you did not see the moon split yesterday. I split it. Oh, you, 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 you know, I, it happened as 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 Abdul said because everybody was asleep. Nobody saw it. So I'm asking you now: Did Allah created him by His hands or by saying be? Does it say there? By my hands, both hands. If it if it says by hands, then it's, then it's hands. Okay, that's mean the verses in the Quran is stupid because if Allah created Adam by his hands, both hands, not one. By the way, why Allah he needs two hands, not one? Why he needs two hands? But I mean, is it hard to make Adam by one hand for someone like Allah? But if he chooses to create him with both hands, what's no, wrong with no, that? No, no, this is not about choose. Obviously, he needs both hands. No, he doesn't need both okay, hands. Okay, prove that he does not need it. Okay, so why he used two hands if he can make it one hand? One hand, he is speaking in the phone. The other hand, because making Adam is so easy for Allah. Why he is using two hands? Do Allah capable to create Adam by one hand? He, cre he created Adam with his own hands because he was the first creation. What to ass? Create Don't use oh. ass, not ass. Hands. Hands, that's what I said, hands. Oh, you said hands. Sorry, I heard ass. So listen. But Allah, He used two hands, correct? Yes. Okay. Him, yeah. But this is what all human do. If I go right now in the in the garden, I cannot do anything without. If I do it with one hand, it's going to be very hard. Unless I lost my okay. arm for some reason. So this okay. God, this God, He have two hands for a reason. Do we agree? If He if He says if He says He's got two hands, then it's all right. You know, I'm saying your God, He have two hands for a reason, and the reason is He need them, correct? He does not need them. He just has them anyway. Oh, what do you mean he do not need them? If he do not need them, why he is using them? Because why he, he was just... And why he, ha why he have them? 
It's up to him if he, if he wants hands, if he wants face. He can, it's not up to him. Can he take them off? Can he, can he throw them away? He, he, he will never do that. They Why are eternal. Why not? They've always been there. They've always been there. He will never ch change. They are, always, never they are change. always been there? He will never change CP. God okay. does not change. God, remember that. God doesn't change. Are you sure? God does not change. Do you swear you will not change your statement after two minutes? The Jews and Christians believe I'm God asking you. God do you man? swear? Do you swear that Allah don't God don't change no matter what? In in, in what way you're on about? Like maybe maybe we're talking about hands, so obviously we're talking about look now. I'm saying I'm saying like his hands, he will, he will not change his hands, he will not change his face, he will not change do his Allah, legs. He won't change his face. No, why would he change his face? Okay. Guys, why he would change his face? Are you laughing now? Eh? Are you laughing? No, I'm not laughing. Why would he change okay. his face? For? Why he will change his face? Maybe he like to play hide and seek. <laughs> Why you are laughing? <laughs> you are you act like a clown, CB man. Come on. Okay, so clever. you are saying that the one who play hide and seek he is a clown, and you are insulting me, hurting my feeling. It's okay. I will use some bandage later. No problem. Let us go and see what your prophet says about your God being a clown, and you laugh at him already by laughing at Allah changing his look. Here we go. Read with me carefully. Go on, read it then. I'm listening. Remember, you are the one who loves. Claiming, you are the one that's claiming that he changed his face. Now show me and read it, please. Okay. Uh. Let us read the hadith together, let us find it, and then you will die laughing at what you just said to me. Let me hide the screen so people will not get dizzy screwing down. Give me a second. <clears throat> We got more important things to talk about salvation and you will play the about. game with me again. Yes. We spoke about this. Don't tell me about the salvation here. Because salvation, the one who don't have a stupid, the one who have a God like this is a clown. You are the one who said, that the, you are the one who said that the one who changed his look is a clown. Did you say that? If he, no one, the God does not change his face. Simple. Yeah, face. But you said he's a clown if you do that, right? You do not change his face. Simple. Okay, we will see. Been that okay, we will see. We will see. Anyway. I don't know which fake. fake okay, leading. okay, okay. Uh. <coughs> Let us read together. And then you will be sorry. And you will wish that you did not say what you just said. Here we go. Let us see here. <clears throat> you would be sorry on the day of judgment, boy. We will see. We will see the followers of the potato. Listen carefully. I want you to look for me on the screen. Yeah, go on. Hmm. It says. Then the Almighty will come Where's... to them. Who is the Almighty? God. What do you mean, God? Give me, give him a, a name. Who is the God we're talking about? What God? Is that Allah? Yeah. Okay. Then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. Does this, this does it say shape? Then the Almighty will come in. God in it. Yeah. What does that mean? Allah changed his shape. You said to me, Allah don't change. Don't change his face. And you said the one yeah. who does that is a clown. No, but shape in what, what way shape now you want to play shape shape is a shape i don't care maybe he came he came like a uh, joe biden who care so now allah he changed his shape you said the one 
You said to me, maybe he like, I said, you said to me, why you want to do that? I said, maybe you want to do hide and seek. And then you laughed. So now Allah is hiding himself and hide and seek. He changed his shape and he come to the Muslim. In a way other than the one which they saw first time. Do you see it? I see that there. Okay, so did Allah change his shape and everything in him, including his face? It does not say face. It says here they could not recognize him. He said to them, I am your Lord. They said to him, get lost. You are not our Lord. Yeah. So he changed his face. It, it, it doesn't say face there. Well, then why they can't recognize him then? He well, said, he... I am Allah, your Lord. They said to him, get lost. You are not. And not only that, they accused him to be shaitan. They said, we will seek refuge from you again against you to Allah. What's his hadith anyway? What? Why is it called? Where did he get this hadith from? The clown hadith, you are the one who gave it name. You said to me that if this has happened, that is a clown. So this is the clown hadith. The chapter of the clown, Sahih al-Bukhari. Sorry, no, this is not Sahih al-Bukhari. This is a da'if hadith. Is it, is it Sahih al-Bukhari, yeah? No, it's da'if hadith. So did Allah change his look now? He did. If it's, if it's a Sahih hadith, then I will take my word back then. You cannot take it back. You just, you just painted Allah as a clown. Everybody, no, I, no everybody heard the, you. Uh, uh, Sheikh Safaraz, Sheikh Safaraz, you are the one who said, everybody heard you. You know, I'm not adding yeah, words. I don't do anything to my videos like Muslims. You are the one who said, that the one who do such a thing is a clown. They call him a clown, come on. You are the one who said that. People are my witness, here we go. Let us introduce to you how Allah look like. According to Sheikh Safaraz, Allah the clown, he changed his look and he play hide and seek. He come to the Muslims, they could not recognize him. He said to them, I am your Lord. They could not even recognize his face because even he changed his face. They could not recognize his voice because he changed his voice. They could not recognize his feet, his hands, because he changed everything. He's a clown, and you it are the not, one who and you are the one who feet. say the one who does that is a clown. No, I did not say the clown. I did not say clown. No, you say it. It's recorded. I called Safaraz. you clown. Safaraz, yes, but you said to me, you said to me that the one who does that is a clown. No, I said, I said you're a okay, clown. What a clown do? Like, what no, a clown do? Joking. Clown, he changed the way his no. face is. Clown, you gave a perfect description. Don't be shy. It's okay. I will reward you. I will make you admin in my chat room now. <laughs> listen, yeah. yeah. If he changes, if he yeah. changes his face, yeah, then I take a word back. Listen, yeah, I listen. Word back. Did Allah listen. change his look? Yes or no? If it if it says not. Hadith that he that he does, then cool. I take a word back. Okay. So why Apologize. Allah he switch his face? From a face of Allah to face of a clown to the point the Muslim gets scared and they refuse him. To, to be honest, yeah, I've 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 heard about this hadith, but I did not read it in full. I have I've I've heard about this. Well, you Muslim, you have no full. Always you are empty. What full? Who care if you read it in full or not? I'm asking you. Allah changed his look, his face, his feet, his hands, and he come in other shape. For what purpose? To be honest, nobody knows. I know. As I said to you, Allah like to play hide and seek. You laughed. Oh, it's not like hide, hide and seek. Well, it's isn't it him seek. hiding himself by changing his look? Well, he changed his look for some reason which, which we don't know. What is the reason? We don't know. See, this is a problem. We, well, we it's don't know. hide and seek. This is the only thing we know for. We speak about this and, you know, as long as we know what we know, that Allah is a playing hide and seek. Up in hide and seek. Yeah. I mean, look at it. You see, I don't know why. What's wrong? Why you are in trouble? You know, it's okay. I mean, this God is weird. I understand. I agree with you. Stupid God. So now Allah, He come to you, Muslims, in a shape other than the one which you know. By the way, which which shape you know? Huh? 
do you see, do you know any sign which you recognize it? He said, the shrimp. Yeah, yeah, read this. Yeah, yeah. We don't know why he changed his, uh, his shape. We, 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 we don't know about this. What? We, 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 no one knows why he's changed his shape. What kind of religion no this religion knows. is? I mean, what's wrong with this religion? What do you mean? Okay, they sh you are the one who said to me, Allah is not to change. He don't change. Well, I never knew. I thought, I thought, okay, but okay. This okay, so now I, we agree. I, so now we agree, me and you, that Allah, he do change, correct? Yeah. So why you Muslim, you come to us and you say, what kind of Bible says, says God doesn't change and then he come as Jesus? No, but he does not come in a human form. Well, he have a hands, he have two hands, he have two feet, he have a shin, he have a mouth, he have ears, he have eyes. What is that? He's a mice. No, it says, it says. Well, listen, listen, a... listen, 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 listen. When Allah, when Allah, he changed his shape. What happened exactly? I need your help. He have a shape now. And now Allah, he changed his shape to something else. What happened to the first shape? Yeah. No one knows. This is a problem. You hmm. don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. The brother he called me before you. He said there's a three opinion. So let us search for opinion. Opinion number one: Allah he burned the first shape. Opinion number two: Allah he hang it on the closet. Opinion number three: He sold it in eBay. Can be. Is it possible that Allah he changed his shape, and now we have to Allah or one Allah? There is no opinions. No, no one knows. No scholar knows. Nobody no knows. No problem. Because nobody knows. This is Islam. This is exactly what I say. So now there's a first shape. This is Allah. Is that correct? What's that? Yeah. Yeah. So the first shape is Allah. Wonderful. The second shape is who? The, then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw the first time. They will say, I'm your God. Yeah, he, he, he come in a different shape, that means, but we where we don't know exactly what shape it is. Listen, uh, focus on me, Safaraz. Allah come to you in a shape. Okay, the first shape is Allah. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, the second shape is who? Allah as well. So now we have to Allah. No, there's one Allah. Yes, change his shape. It's simple. So can we say that Allah is the same as the movie we see? It's called The Transformer or The Grim? No, no, it's not like that one. What do you mean like yeah, that one? This is exactly what they do. The guy, he looked like no, a human, the and then is, he looked like an animal or something. The thing is, yeah, CPA, this is the work of the unseen. We don't know exactly what he looks like. Uh, no, it says other than the one they saw first time. Yeah, it's, it says other than that, what they will see in the future on, on the day of No judgment. problem. Okay, now it is, it, it is the, the, the day... And it's the time to see Allah, but why Allah? Now he is changing his shape. He changed his shape. He looked differently. And to the point, the Muslim, they cannot recognize him. So what is the purpose? You said I do not know, correct? To be honest, I don't know. Okay. Read with me carefully here. It says, do you know any signs which you can record him, recognize him? What is the sign? Do you know any other signs which you can recognize in them? Say the shin, and so Allah will cover the shin with upon every believer. Yeah, the shin and the shin that they can actually recognize. Hmm. Is that how people recognize God by shin? Well, that's how that's how it is and be. If it, if it's written that that's how it be, then does that mean that working? Allah He changed everything in Him except the shin? They they say that we can only recognize Him by the shin. Simple as that. So the Muslim they cannot recognize their God by His face, but by His shin. By the shin is the same. Hmm. Which more important for you as Muslims, the shin of Allah or the face of Allah? The thing is, no one knows the face of 
Allah anyway. So the thing is, nobody knows the shin of Allah too. So how you can recognize the shin of Allah if you cannot recognize the face of Allah? I'm sure there's a hadith, you know, that do you think describes he, the shin. Do you think he have a tattoo? I need to go for that hadith. There is a you need to look for that. So you think Allah have a tattoo in his shin? Do you think Allah have a tattoo? They describe it. They describe the shin, but I've forgotten on that. There's a hadith describe the shin of Allah. Just talking about the shin of Allah. Uh, I'm asking you also, how you recognize the shin of Allah? Well, I need to do some Muhammad research. Is, Muhammad is dead now. What Muhammad said is what Muhammad said. Now we have the shin. You will recognize him by the shin. Shouldn't you tell us how this shin we will recognize? Everybody have a shin. I need to do my. I need to ask my imam on that. Call him right now. <laughs> He's in Saudi Arabia. There's He's where? He's in, Sa in, Sa in Sa Saudi Arabia, Serbia? They are fast asleep. Call a different one. You live in England. Call a different one in England. Call yeah, me, me, call me, me hijab. He's a sheikh. <laughs> I'm not in the job, not sheikh. Okay, who's call Sheikh Uthman. Sheikh Uthman is a sheikh. Sheikh Uthman. Uh -huh. They're not my, they're not my sheikhs. He's my sheikh. sheikh. Is, he, is he really Arabia. a sheikh? Is he a sheikh? Yeah. Is he really a sheikh? He, he calls himself a sheikh, so he must but be. But is, is he really a sheikh? He doesn't even know Arabic. <laughs> who, doesn't, who doesn't know Arabic? Of course he does. He's got a, no, he does not. He's got a degree. He's got a green Arabic and, and no, he does not. all that. Did you see the most yes. videos they made for him? Like making fun of his. He's adding word to the Quran. He speaks Arabic. They are making fun of him. The Muslims. Did you see them? You know why they make fun of him? Because of his sect. That, that no, a, they are Sunni like him. They are Sunni like him. And he do not know they are showing you they have even they they, they have videos showing you that he cannot read an Arabic word. They're the they're the Dio Hanbis that are attacking him. My friend, Dio they are attacking him, saying he do not know how to read Arabic. And I agree. If the guy do not know Arabic, go on or read any oh. watch any of his video. The guy is an idiot. So he's a scam he's like your prophet. Passion. Anyway, he's like your prophet. He's your prophet did not know Arabic. He do not know Arabic. Anyway, listen. So now. You are saying to me that the sheikh is asleep, the other sheikh is stupid, Mimi Hijab is not a sheikh, so who is the one you can call him right now so he can help us in this scenario? There is no sheikh for me here. My sheikh is only one that I've been with for the last 10, 15 years, and he's from Saudi Arabia. Any question I need, he will answer me in 24 hours. So the 24 hours. Okay, do you promise me, me Do you promise me that next time we go live on air, you call me so and you give me the answer? answer? Soon they answer about the shin here, I guarantee you in front of all the call, all okay, the people. So thank you for Allah calling Allah. and may, may the shin of Allah bless you. When you get the answer, let me know. A God who is a shin. We Christian, we say hallelujah. You Muslim, you say hallelujah. Your God is a shin. This is the whole mighty God. It turned to be a shin. And the one who changed, God doesn't change, and then we find that God changed. And he changed what? He changed to the worst, because to the point, the Muslims, they run away from him. You see, when Allah, he come to them, not only they refuse him as God, They said, we seek refuge by Allah from you. They seek what? They seek refuge. This is how horrible his look is. You look so bad. Read carefully with me. I'm not adding a word. He said to them, he will come to them in a shape other than the one which they knew. This is a different hadith. And he will say, I am your Lord. They will say, you are our Lord. This is the second time. The first time, Allah, he come to them, he said, 
Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know and will say, I'm your Lord. They will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. Allah look like the devil. Scary, ugly, disgusting creature to the point the Muhammadan they seek refuge when they see his ugly, disgusting face. We seek refuge from Allah toward you. They think really he is the devil. And this is telling you how ugly Allah is. What made the Muslims say in such a statement, we seek refuge from Allah toward you, against you? This is a statement the Muslims have been taught to say when they see shaitan, to protect themselves from shaitan. This is their God. This is literally what Muhammad is saying. Sick, ugly, disgusting God playing games and the Muslims got scared when they saw him because he don't look like God, he looked like the devil. You will have a nightmare. Oh, what do you have to do? This is a good looking God. This is the God that gave us headache, worship him, you know, he's a clown. He's literally a clown. This is Jibreel. As you see, Islam look fine as long you do not know it. As long you don't ask questions. The second you ask questions, Islam is the most stupid cult ever. There's a three opinion. Did your prophet circumcise? There's three opinion. Did Allah create by his and this is three opinion. Did it, it, all and everything is three opinion. Is your father your father? There's a three opinion. Who said that? Your mother? You remember the Abdul who wanted to get married? He find a girl, he came to his father, he said, Father, I finally find a woman to marry her. The father was so happy, finally his son is a grown man. He said, let us go and ask for her hand, who is she? The son, he told him the name. The father said, no, 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 no. The son, he said, why, 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 why? The father, he said, son, I cannot tell you. The son, he said, you have to tell me, I love her. The father, he have no choice but to tell him that she is his sister. Because when he was young, he was a playboy. The son, he go and he look again to find different girl. He found another girl. He come back to his father. The father was excited again. He told him, give me the name so we can go and ask for her hand. The son, he told him the name. The father says, no, 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 no. She is your sister. And the story keep going like this. Each time he bring him a girl to marry, she is intended to be his sister. The guy, he became so upset like Safaraz. He grew a beard. He don't go out. He stay home. He changed. The mother, she came to his room to see what's wrong with her son. She said, son, why you are not living like before? What happened? He said, mom, just leave me alone. If I tell you, you won't believe it. She insists to know. He told her mom, each time I bring my dad a girl to marry her, he say, you cannot because she is your sister. How I will live? The mother, she said, son, go and marry whoever you like because who told you that he is your dad? And now I say to the Muslims, who told you that Allah is your God? Go do muta with the God of muta. It turned to be 
He is not the son of his father. Not only the father he play around, the mother, she play basketball too. And that's exactly what Islam. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. I was happy to see you today. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you humbly. And don't contact me in Patreon and don't support me there because you don't care. I know. Thank you very much for your care. God bless you anyway. We pray to the Lord to open the eyes of the Muslims. We pray to the Lord to open the eyes of this poor man, Safaraz, and his family. We pray to the Lord to save them from the devil Muhammad and the cult of Muhammad and the shin of Allah. God is not a shin. And the one who follow a shin, he will be shinned in the day of judgment. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 